Hello to you guys and welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga with me, Leslie. I hope you guys are doing well and have had a really amazing week and are ready for some yoga today. As the little description says, today is all about nourishment because I'm sure many of you have goals that you set at the beginning of the year, which is amazing. And maybe you are pushing and pushing and pushing and going so hard at all of those goals that you forget to slow down and to really nourish yourself. So today's practice is gonna be a much slower session, really focused on helping open up some of our upper body, our lower body, just taking care of our being, right? So if you are ready to just relax and to help nourish your body, get back to your mat and uh, let's do this. I don't know about you guys, but here in Michigan, it is beautifully freezing. <laughs> it's currently snowing right outside my window, so it's just a very beautiful backdrop to stare at. So that will help me relax through this. I hope you guys are able to put on just a you know quiet little playlist or you're choosing in the background. I always recommend some of the Hertz frequencies when you're doing yoga. Um, each different frequency is just a way to help unlock something energetically. And I can go way more into that at another time, but bring yourself to your mat, get yourself nice and comfortable, legs crossed or not. Sit up nice and tall, put your hands in your lap, and when you're ready, go ahead and close your eyes. We're gonna start with a big breath in through the nose, and exhale through the mouth, let it go. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, release. Relax those shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more, just like that. In. And out. Great. Just focus on taking breaths in and out through the nose. Just finding a nice natural rhythm. Begin noticing what's going on in your body. Notice if you're holding your shoulders up to your ears or maybe if you're tensing through your legs and just actively release those things, relaxing your shoulders down, giving your legs a little shake, letting them fall towards the mat and sitting up tall. Really focus on those big breath, inhale, exhale, great. Bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. Take a big breath in and expand your entire front body forward. Exhale, really pull that belly button deep into your side spine. Spread, press that air out. Whew, tongue twisters today, you guys. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. Keep that going. Just allowing your body to slow down and beginning to even slow down your mind. Trying to release those to-do lists or all of the concerns or anxieties that are filling your head right now. And just focusing on your breathing. Inhaling in through the nose and out. Great, with that next breath, go ahead and bring your hands right onto your ribs on the side here. And as we inhale, I want you to really visualize pressing your ribs left and right, filling up this room. So big breath in, exhale, bring those ribs back in close. Inhale, expand, and exhale, contract. Keep that going, inhale, and exhale. Making sure we're sitting up tall, relaxing through your legs. One more, just like that, in and out. Great, go ahead and release your hands onto your knees, curling your fingertips underneath your kneecaps here. You can keep your eyes closed and listen to my voice or open them up and follow along. I'm gonna take a big breath in, send your chin towards the sky, look up. And exhale, just tuck your chin into your chest, sitting up nice and tall, dropping your shoulders down. Inhale, lengthen, look up. And exhale, chin to chest. 
keep that going. Really waking up through the neck, through the upper spine. Use your breath to help guide the motion. Keep it going. Two more. Last one. Great. Go ahead, inhale, send your gaze all the way up. And this time as we exhale, I want you to begin to round at your spine, pulling your middle back towards the wall behind you. Really tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen, bring your chest forward. Look up towards the sky. And exhale, round. Keep that going. Really getting your spine awake here. Moving through all those muscles. Gently waking them up. Use your breath to guide the movement. We'll do two more. Last one. Great, come on up, sit up nice and tall, and I want you to take your hands, palms open to the sky, bringing them right in at your waist here. So take a big breath in, and exhale, pull your thumbs towards that back wall, really feel your shoulder blades turning around your scapula, your shoulder blades really reaching towards your spine here. Inhale, bring them forward, exhale, open. Inhale, exhale, keep it going. Strengthening through your shoulders, helping release any tension right there. My TOSers, this is an amazing one to help give you not only a relief, but even some strength. We'll do two more. Opening those palms and then bringing them forward. Awesome job. Extend your arms out in front of you, palms facing together, fingertips facing that front wall. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, glide that left arm or right arm, whichever towards that back wall. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. And when you're ready, look over that shoulder. Focusing on your breathing, big inhale. Exhale, bring that hand forward. Inhale at the front. Exhale, glide the opposite hand back. Holding it there for two breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, send the opposite arm back. One count here. Getting an opening through our thoracic spine. Really, again, working on nourishing our body in a much more slow manner. Allowing it to wake up, to stretch, to release any tension that you may be holding on to from the week. Whether it's pushing yourself too hard at work, or pushing yourself too hard to meet your goals. We always have to take a moment to slow down, to listen to our body, and to really just nourish it. Your body, your mind, your soul. You gotta take that time for you. All right, bring those hands forward, release them onto your knees. Just close your eyes, we'll take a breath here. Inhale, and exhale. Great. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up to the sky, look up. Exhale, chin to chest, arms come down. Inhale, arms go high. Exhale, release them down. Inhale, holding it at the top. You're going to take left hand to the right wrist and lean over to the left side, getting a big stretch here in your ribs. Turn your chest towards the ceiling. If this is causing too much compression at the shoulder, just bring your fingertips onto your shoulder. You're going to release that left arm down and just lift and turn your chest towards the sky. As you breathe, really feel your rib cage expanding towards that wall to the side. Just focus on your breath here. Inhale and exhale. One more. In and out. Come all the way back up to center. Look up and exhale. Float your hands down. Big breath. Inhale, lifting, holding it at the top. Right hand takes left wrist this time. Lean to the right. Again, making those modifications with your arm as needed. Rotate your chest towards the ceiling here. 
Really expand your ribs towards that left wall. Big breath in and out. Making your diaphragm really work for us. Your diaphragm is connected to so many muscles and joints throughout your body. It's so important to breathe right. Let's take a big breath in. And exhale, let it go. Come all the way back up, arms to the sky. And exhale, release chin to chest. Great, we're gonna inhale, just lift your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, loop them back and down your spine. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, both arms come forward. You're just gonna cross that right arm over your chest, catching it with your left hand here. Extend those fingers nice and long and look over your right shoulder. Relax your shoulder down away from your ears and just focus on your breathing. Inhale. Exhale. One more in. And as we exhale, we'll release and cross the opposite arm over your chest this time. Looking the opposite direction, relaxing that shoulder down away from your ears. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath here, in. And now, great, relax your hands down. And we're gonna come on to all fours here. Bringing your knees directly underneath of your hips and your wrists directly underneath of your shoulders. Go ahead and curl your toes under, get yourself in a nice flat back position here. Send your gaze just down past your nose. Take a big breath in and out. Spread all 10 fingers nice and wide, press them deep into the mat. And as we inhale this time, we're gonna drop our belly, lift our hips, send our gaze forward. Take a big breath in. And exhale, round chin to chest, pull your spine towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Keep it going. In and out. Two more. Last one. Great job. Go ahead and take that right arm, lift it all the way up to the sky. Big breath. And exhale, we're gonna bring it all the way through, threading that needle, releasing your right shoulder down to the mat, resting the side of your forehead on the mat here, and just feeling that stretch through your upper body. Take a big breath in. Exhale, shift your body weight slightly towards the right wall. Getting a deeper stretch here. Inhale. And exhale. Engage your core, press into that left hand. Open that arm all the way back up, big stretch. And exhale, plant that palm down. Inhale, open the left arm this time. Exhale, thread that needle. Forehead comes down, focus on your breathing. Inhale, exhale, shift your body weight to the left just slightly. Allow your body to release here. Again, with a slower practice, we're really focusing on awareness of the body letting things go one more breath here in and exhale press into that right hand engage your core sweep that left arm all the way up to the sky big opening here and exhale plant it down great job go ahead really press into those toes here inhale just lift your knees away from the mat and hover holding it here making sure your wrists are directly underneath of your shoulders Pull that belly button deep in your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. In. Exhale. Send your hips all the way up to the sky. Keep a nice big bend in your knees. Sink your chest towards your thighs. Inhaling in. And as we exhale, begin to just pedal through your feet, dropping one heel and then the other. Getting some length through your legs here. And with that next breath, bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Bring your feet in nice and close, toes kissing one another, and then bend those knees deeply, forward fold. Hanging out here for a couple breaths, 
take opposite hand, opposite elbow, come into our rag down, relaxing your chin forward, finding that stability in your feet, and just breathing. Each breath nourishing your body, nourishing your breath mind, slowing down your brain. Release those hands down. Inhale, glide them up towards your thighs, straighten through your back, straighten through your legs into our halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Holding it here, straightening through one leg, bending through the other, and then rotating. Choosing which leg to lengthen. Maybe you can reach the ground. If not, just keep one hand on your thighs. Or both. And then forward fold. Slow and controlled, we're gonna roll all the way up to standing. One vertebrae at a time. Making your way to the top. Looping your shoulders up, back and down. Tucking your chin towards the wall behind you. And just close your eyes standing here in mountain. Take a big breath in. And out. Relax your shoulders down. Inhale, open those eyes, bend your knees. Give me a big circle as you stand all the way back up. Slight back bend here. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant your palms. Step one foot back. And then the other, shifting into our plank. You can always take a modified here if you need to. I'm gonna hold this for three, two, and on that one, keep those elbows into your side. Slowly lower all the way down. Flip your toes. Inhale, press into your mat, lifting that upper body away from the ground, coming into our up dog here. Relax your shoulders down your spine. Engage your glutes. Keep that low back nice and safe. Take a big breath in. And exhale, release that forehead down to the mat. Inhale, we're only going to lift our head, chin, and chest. Really pressing into your pelvic bone, pressing into the tops of your feet, pulling those shoulder blades down away from your ears. And exhale, release. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, release. I want you to extend those arms out in front of you, palms facing the floor. Inhale, lift your head, chin, and chest and your arms away from the floor. Exhale, pull those elbows towards your hips. Inhale, lengthen, bring those arms forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, release. One more, just like that. In, out, in, release. Great job. Press into your mat. And then we're going to send our hips to our heels, coming all the way into our child's pose. You can keep your knees in close or you can open them as wide as your mat, finding what's going to be comfortable for you here. Slowly bringing your forehead all the way down to the mat. You can stack one fist on top of the other and just relax your forehead there, using your breath to help your back release here. Inhale. And exhale. We release one hand down, big breath in, and out. And bring your forehead all the way down if it's available. You can keep your arms extended overhead if you would like, or you can bring them right in at your shoulders, just allowing your back to fully extend here. Inhaling in, big breath, and out. I want you to bring a big smile onto your lips. And think of one thing that you're grateful for from today.
With the next inhale, bring your hands under your shoulders if they're not there already. Press into the mat, lift that upper body away from the ground. Go ahead and sitting back on your heels if that's available. If not, just tuck a pillow right in between your thighs and your calves. Create a little extra space for your knees. Go ahead and release your hands down at your side, sitting up nice and tall. Take a big breath in and out. Awesome, send your body weight forward. Go ahead and curl your toes under in slow and controlled. Walk your hips back to your heels. You'll begin to feel a very deep stretch through the bottom of your feet. If it's too intense, just lift your hips up and away just slightly. Again, this is nourishing, not supposed to be painful. Take a big breath in, sit up nice and tall, relax your hands down. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, send your arms out in front of you, palms together. Exhale, glide that left arm across your body, opening it up to that left wall. Go ahead and look over your left shoulders here. Really keep your belly button pulled in nice and tight. Take a big breath in. Exhale, bring it forward. Inhale. Exhale, open that right arm. <clears throat> look over your right shoulder. Make sure we're sitting up tall. And exhale, bring it forward. Relax those arms down. Send your body weight forward and bring your legs to one side or the other. And you're going to extend your legs long here. Moving the flesh of your buttocks from one side to the other, coming onto our sit bones. Take a moment, just roll through your feet, curl your toes, and give them a little movement after that big stretch. And then when you're ready, flex your toes towards your nose, rotate your big toes in towards the center line, and bring your hands on the floor right at your hips. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. Take a big breath in, and out. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up to the sky. And as we exhale, I want you to bend forward from your hips, not from the middle of your back. And it's okay if you can only bring your hands to your shins, great. If you can walk them forward towards your ankles, awesome. In time, you'll be able to grab the bottoms of your toes. Everyone is at a very different spot and it just takes practice to get better. Take a big breath in. And now, tuck your chin towards your chest here, opening up through the back of the neck. And one more big breath here, in. And as we exhale, glide your arms back up, sitting up nice and tall. Give yourself a little shoulder roll. Move your head around, find something that feels good here. Maybe even wiggle your legs just a little bit. And then when you're ready, I want you to go ahead and take that left leg, set that foot outside of the right knee. You're gonna sweep your left hand behind you. Inhale, send your right fingers to the sky. Exhale, release that elbow to the left knee and look over that left shoulder, making sure we're flexing through the right toes and feeling this deep twist through our spine. Inhale, exhale. You can really press elbow into knee to feel that twist. Don't do anything that's gonna cause any pain or strain. One more, in and out. With that next inhale, take both hands to the opposite side of the mat for a counter twist. And then release forward. We'll go on to the opposite side. So plant that right foot outside of the left knee. Sweep the right fingers back behind you. Inhale, lift the left fingers towards the sky. Exhale, twist and connect. Elbow to knee. Look over that right shoulder. Keep those left toes curled towards your face. Inhale. And exhale. Focusing on that breath. Feeling that deep twist. And just visualizing your body releasing, nourishing, reviving itself. One more breath here. In and out. Inhale, twist to the opposite side, counter twist. And then come on forward. You're going to release your legs forward, scoot your
your bum forward and slow and controlled. Bring your upper body all the way down to the floor. You can bring your knees in towards your chest for a moment, catching them with your hands, maybe giving them a little tug, lifting that tailbone away from the floor. And we'll just take a breath here. In and out. Great. Go ahead and plant your heels on the mat as close to your hips as you can possibly get. And with that next breath, we're going to press into our feet, lift our hips away from the ground, try to squeeze your knees in towards one another and lift those hip points towards the ceiling. Squeeze those glutes, big breath in, and exhale, release. One vertebrae at a time. Inhale, lifting. See if you can lift even higher, keeping those knees in towards one another. Pressing into all sides of your feet here. One more big breath in. And exhale, slow and controlled. Release it down. Really feeling each spine, vertebrae, touching the mat. And then again, pull your knees in towards your chest. Big breath here. Awesome. Bring your hands together right in front of your heart. You're going to send your hands through your knees, catching the outside edges of your feet. And you can hold it right here, or when you're ready, begin to extend the bottoms of your feet towards the sky, coming into our happy baby pose. Staying in stillness, if that's enough of a stretch for you, or maybe finding a slight rock side to side. You can play around with where you're holding. Maybe you want to just grab your big toes, getting inside arches. You want to extend one leg and then the other. Just really experiment and find what feels good here. Again, we're just slowing down, noticing what's going on, and just finding that moment to be present. Allowing those thoughts to just slip away. Focusing on your body, focusing on your breath. Inhale. And on an exhale, bring the bottoms of your feet in together, releasing them down towards the mat. I want you to bring your hands right on your hip creases. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, press your palms into your thighs, feeling that little opening in the low back, giving yourself a little traction in here. And then go ahead and release. Take a big breath in. Exhale, press. One more, in, release, exhale, press. Awesome job. You can take your hands to the outside edges of your thighs, pulling your knees in towards one another. Relax your arms down. And then send one leg straight, followed by the other. Opening your feet as wide as your mat. And go ahead and close your eyes, taking a big breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale, release. One more, just like that. In and out. Great. Just allow yourself to get heavy into your mat here. Inhaling in and out through the nose. And once you've found that inner calm, I want you to think of one more thing that you're grateful for from today. But this time I want you to visualize and really feel that experience over again. Let's take a big breath in. And out.
And with that next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, your fingers, bat your eyelashes open and closed. And slow and controlled, come onto your side and make your way all the way up into a seat. Legs crossed, eyes closed, sitting up nice and tall. Take a big breath in through the nose. And now, bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhale. Exhale. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhale. Exhale. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Inhale. Exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today's session. I hope you are feeling much more nourished in your body, in your mind, maybe a little bit more calm at the end versus how you felt at the beginning. If you enjoyed today's session, I would love if you would both give it a little thumbs up, tell me what you experienced, and then make sure you subscribe, especially if you're watching this on YouTube later. Invite your friends. If you think they're gonna love it, you think it's gonna help them heal or get, a, get out of a place of stuckness, invite them in. I would love to have you guys. And again, I'm not on social media right now. I'm taking a little break, but I come back every Saturday just for you guys for this experience. So I hope it was an amazing experience for you guys, and I look forward to our next session. Bye.